What's up, guys? It is your favorite wolf, the madman himself, James C. Tiberius. <coughs> Love it. A.K.A. the bad wolf. What's going on? I am so glad you tuned in to our uh, episode today on the trust. Okay, so, sorry, it's about as serious as I could be. All right, uh, the trust. Okay, so, so yes, this video is about trust, but... We've already done a video on how to make a trust, and I've already hooked you guys up with who you can contact to have a customized, personalized trust done um, and all that. So this video is a little something different about that, though. The reason why it's important is because we are essentially trying to create not necessarily a new trust, but a foreign trust, okay? Now, the trust itself though private, does still, by its own status and statute and standing, still operate underneath the, the system that is in place, okay? So, because they, it, it's still recognized as being their word and in their jurisdiction, so it's private, and which makes it 99.99% .99 impenetrable but that doesn't mean 100%. That means that if there's a reason that they have to, that's you know just a crucial thing, they will do it because it's still within their jurisdiction. So let's create a foreign trust. Now, a foreign trust can be done two primary ways. One, you create a trust similar to how you create a normal trust, okay? But you're going to put the address of that trust that it is located in another, in another country, okay? So Canada or um, Africa or Atlantis, wherever you guys see fit, okay? So you're gonna address it with that location and you're essentially going to say it's underneath that particular jurisdiction um, when filling out the information. It's located here, I'm putting my car, house, and whatever else into a uh, Mauritania jurisdiction and this is because this is where the trust is located blah, 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 blah. So you know my property's here, I'm putting it underneath, and I'm here, the paper here, my pro property's here, Mortania is over there, and yet I'm saying that this trust operates in their jurisdiction. So, let's talk about you. You. <laughs> All right, so in order to do this, you have to first understand that, okay, so when you create your your trust on paper, which we talked about, you can Google um, create a free trust online um, and it'll and search or online with Rocket Lawyer or whatever, and it'll come up with um, a site or a template or something you can use right there. Now, me personally, if I'm creating one, I'm going to use that as a as a skeleton okay as a shell uh, as a basic structure so when I put my stuff in there I'm going to be sure to not use the word trust uh, for me educational information only so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say that this is a um, just out of the blue I mean you can use a word like Mobius okay so I'm gonna say this is a Mobius for um, the Lovitica nation okay now, the reason why I'm saying Mobius, and you might even want to say like agreement or um, compact or something along those lines. Maybe even, um, I don't know, um, meeting of minds, affidavit, something along those lines. The reason why I'm stressing not to use their word is because once again, it places it under their jurisdiction. So by using a word like Mobius or compact or whatever, so, you know, this is a compact for, you know, all of the property of Lovitica. Okay, of my nation or your nation. Um, once you do that, at the bottom of the page or somewhere in there, maybe even at the top, you know, at the top, because when you create a document, it's your document. You can make it any kind of way you want. You don't have to follow their rules. They have to follow our rules. We don't have to follow all of theirs, okay, unless we're operating within their jurisdiction. So uh, that does not mean go out and break laws or anything like that. It's, it's a, that's a different situation. Um, some laws do apply. Uh, but in general, for this particular purpose, we are going to call it a Mobius, a Mobius Compact. Okay? I mean, I like that. And by the way, I'm doing this all on the fly. I never pre, you know, 
do the videos. So, okay, so this Mobius Compact, I would put the word Mobius, I put the word dictionary, Mobius Compact is equivalent to a trust, however, it is foreign in nature and not to be construed with a U.S. trust or within their jurisdiction, you know, something along those lines, just so that you're saying, hey, a Mobius Compact is a is set up like a trust, it's private, it contains all of my properties, or this, that, and the other, but there is no connection as far as jurisdiction between this agreement being from Mauritania or the Lovett Nation and the United States. So you are removing, severing the name and the jurisdiction. You're just saying that for all purposes, this is, has the same power, though it's private or foreign, and that's how I would use that word. So everywhere in there where you would use trust, I would use Mobius Compact. So you know what it is, you're telling them that it's private and it's foreign, you're giving them the indication that it's like a trust. So then, you, you and, and because it's truly yours, now it's truly private, you can be any of the positions you want. You can create new positions, you can, you see, their way to follow the rules that you can't be all three, um, the creator, the trustee, and the beneficiary in their jurisdiction. So outside their jurisdiction, you can do what you want. Um, if you're doing it from another country, you want to make sure that you are also abiding by their rules for public and private course but if you're doing it from your own nation um, you know especially if you're going to use your address don't use the zip code don't use a two-digit abbreviation um, you know you just put on there your nation is located at this particular address and this address is a physical property and it is in our Mobius compact okay um, so you can pick the positions you want to make sure you put information in there such as um, I am the creator of it. Um, you can also put yourself down as the beneficiary, and and in this case, the trustee. But I would use different words for a beneficiary. I use a different word for a trustee. Um, you can still use creator. So I would put like instead of beneficiary, I would say the receiver. You know, so in your little dictionary section, put the receiver is equal to the beneficiary. Um, I would put the trustee is equal as the holder operator. Um, and then I would put underneath it, um, private jurisdiction means that this information is considered private in, as a contract or agreement and does not follow the rules of a U.S. trust, but is to be respected in its power and status as being equivalent, but foreign, foreign operated. So if you do that, and then what you'd want to do is um, uh, uh, list other people who are to be in second place behind you, okay, in, in case you're in, you know, rendered incompetent or you're not able to uh, perform the duties or you've, you've gone all ghost. This way, you've got somebody who, if you're not available, so you would say if the leader of this uh, or creator of this is not available as beneficiary, the secondary person would be this person who controls all of this lock, stock, and barrel, or it's split between my two kids, this one and this one, um, equal power, or give one of them 49%, the other one 51, um, or these people are going to get this, these things, these people are going to get these things, um, you know, list it all out. So essentially, put all of your information in there, be as thorough as possible, so that if it's ever needed to be um, debated, um, you know, in court for some reason, because probably you didn't, um, you weren't thorough enough on who should get what or whatever else. So have backups of backups. If nobody's available, then this goes to the state or the federal, or it's under the jurisdiction of the county or, you know, all of the property or my, you know, my trust, which has all my stuff in it, my state, uh, my, my numbers, my uh, materials, books, computers, all that stuff. So you want to be thorough. You want to make sure that you spell out who. So if none of these people are available, then then the county, state, or whatever, if you want. Or you can put, uh, you know, a lawyer, you know, whoever your family lawyer is. You know, get one for a couple hundred bucks, put them on a retainer. And then now you've got a lawyer you can, you can go to. <coughs> so, you know, so if your people, then the lawyer, then maybe the city, state, or whatever else. Um, other than that, that's pretty much about it. So you are essentially creating your own nation, but a private trust all in one. So that's it, guys. Um, 
that keeps them out of your hair, keeps them out of your nation, um, your property and house and whatever else then does not have to be just like a regular will, or excuse me, regular um, trust does not have to be probated. It can be just transferred over to the next persons or people, entity, no, 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 living being that is your chooser, beneficiary, no, nope, um, receiver. Just catch me? All right. So that's about it, guys. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe. I definitely appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching all the videos. I do still see all the names when they pop up. I see some of y'all left the wolf pack and then jumped back into the wolf pack. But I still love and appreciate you guys. So thank you for supporting. And um, the wolf pack, for those people who don't know, is the part on my main YouTube channel where you can click join and then get privy to all of the announcements and hidden information, or at least the stuff that I provide that shouldn't necessarily be said all into the public, so it's done in the private. So respect my private systems out there. You know what I'm talking about, too. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's about it. Um, there's merchandise down below, hats, jackets, and hoodies, you know, with the bad wolf on there, so rock some of that, I would appreciate it. Um, you can also get your own store started by going down into the um, my store, and at the bottom of the main page on my store, which is through spreadshop.james, you love it, um, you can click the link and get your own store and set up stuff, make some money. Why not? If you want other good offers, go to blacksite32.com. I've got discounts on things, um, Uber and health products and whatever else. Um, you can also get download free files. We will be updating new files for free and to download. But if you want the paid files, like explanatory statements and whatever else, they're also there. Also, you can set up a consultation there as well. That's about it, guys. I definitely appreciate you, and don't forget if you see anybody using any of my materials or videos inappropriately and calling us the S word or whatever else, make sure you report them for, by the way, for uh, slander, harassment, and whatever else. Definitely appreciate it. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. We got more videos coming your way. You gonna.